hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a tutorial on canva i will be showing you how you can create ui designs using canva i already have a design i made using xd before so i will be using that design i'll be following through with that design to recreate on canva the purpose of this is basically to let you know that apart from creating flyers and uh, social media post on canva you can literally create all that designs some other very very useful designs for you so which is why i will be focusing on ui designs in this video if this is your first time coming on my channel please join the family by clicking on the subscribe button below and also the bell button right beside it so you can get notified anytime i post new videos so guys let's get right into this video design is created using xd so i'm going to try and recreate the same design in canva this is what we're going to be recreating you notice that this is an image and there's so many other elements here all bring together to make this design so we're going to try as much as possible to make sure that we use almost the same elements in canva and the ones that we can get we kind of like use some other elements to replace it. So we're going to start with the first one, which is um, getting this first image that is here. So I have the image already and obviously the one I have as a background, which I would be introducing you to a background removal that you can use to remove um, a background on online. So you don't really need to have a subscription or you need to uh, know more about Photoshop to remove the background. So basically you can just go to that website and just remove the background So I'll be doing that right here. So we have the background removed um, We go to background remover. So you can see this particular one www remove background remove dot bg So you can literally remove the background from here. So what we'll do is we'll drag the image up here so we can easily remove the background the image is on my desktop so i'm just going to locate my desktop right here and pick the image um i think this is it i'm just going to drag it here so after bringing that image right here the next thing you want to do is check if this image is right the background is removed very well like, like it's not actually cancelling out part of the image and if it does cancel out part of the image you can easily just edit that here and then you can erase or restore so i want to restore some part of this image so i can just reduce my brush size and come right here get that back i think that is that and i think a bit of the this part so can do the same if there is a part that you need to really reduce um erase you can easily just change to erase and then just erase that part so obviously that's how it works so we have that when you have that done you can easily just download your image it's as simple as that and you have the image downloaded okay so i can say that i have what i need the next thing I'm going to do is, after looking at this image, this design here, we know there is a size to this design. So what you want to do next is make sure that the size is right. So what I would do is I'll just go down to uh, my XD and look at my Canva. I'll just come here and the artboard, get the artboard size, which is one 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to set the same size for my canva dimension so i'm going to go to create design go to custom cu custom and yes i'm going to type in or if i had copied i would have just pasted there so it's 920 by 1080 and obviously it's in pixel so i'm going to create the new design i have the same design ready now what you want to do next is ensure that you are bringing in that same image because I have a download here, you can just drag that image that you just um, removed the background and just drag it in. That's so easy to do. So looking at this design that we have here, I would say that there is there is need for us to bring in a rectangle. 
So I'm going to bring in the rectangle and put place it just right here. Notice the rectangle is white, has a white background. And before we get there, let's just do this. So let's go back to Canva. Yeah, go back to it, it uploads, pick up the image that you uploaded and adjust it to fit exactly the way it shows on that particular, on our particular design. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we look at this. This is having a background feel of this color. You can see. So merely you just come here and copy in the color code and then go to Canva and make sure that we're using the same color code for our background. So for Canva, you can just easily just put it there. So you can see we have the same color code right here. And then this one, we are going to change it to white because over there we can see that it is white. So the color code for white is this. So we have white there. Obviously this is transparent. If you look at it right here, you notice that it's transparent. So we can just, looking at this, you see the opacity is 42%. So that's the same thing we're gonna be doing on canvas so we are going to increase in, reduce the transparency to 42. the next thing we're going to do is try to um put this text obviously we look at the text you can see the text here and look at the font the font type of the text which is vadana so we're going to be using the same font type Vadana for our own design on Canva. And then we're going to be following through the font size, which is 102, and also ensuring that it is aligned to the center. Also, another thing we need to notice is that it is all in uppercase. So we do the same thing we're saying here. We do the same on Canva. So let's go to Canva. Select text. So because there is no Vandana on Canva, we can just use a font that is similar to Vandana. And I think that is um, Arimo. This font really looks very similar to Arimo. So we'll be using this one. And then the content is realistic UI design. So I can just go to Canva and have that here. So remember that the font size is, so the font size is what? The font size is 102. So we'll be using the same font size. Go back to Canva. Change the font size here to 102. And also ensuring that it is all in caps. So yes, yeah, so we have that right here now. We have the next one to be in the same font, but a 36 font size. So let's just do the same thing. Go back here, go back to Canva and create another text. Ensure that you're putting them right where they should be. And the font size is 36. Make sure you adjust the font size to fit and also change that. So yes, we have that right now. So the next thing we're going to try and add to this is this button here and this one. So how do we do that? What we can do is we go to Canva. We can easily go and get those buttons by going to elements and then searching our buttons. And then look at the button that really best suits what we're trying to do. Or we can just look at these shapes here. And then while looking at the shape, we look at the one that actually speaks to our kind of design. The one that looks very much like what we're looking for. I think we need this one. 
obviously we can adjust it and then drag here and then look at the color the border color is this color here and then i can easily just copy this color and go and paste it in my cover so we have the same exact color so it's easy as this so you have that and we can just put in the text we can easily just put in the text so the text is that it's by now and let's check the text property so the text property is same font and 35 so we have by by now 35 font size and font type will be using this one and we have we have that so to create the second button what we're going to do is um look at look through so yes you can see this one here i'm going to pick this and try and do the same thing i did with the other button so i reduce the size and i change the upper color to this i duplicate and after duplicating i pick the bottom one and go back to my xd to check the color of the shadow color of this button so going down i look at the shadow color and then i copy the color here and then go back to canva to make sure that i give the bottom shape the same color so we've actually recreate that button that we have on xd on our xd design we created the same button here so what i can do is I will just group them together select it and group so it would be easy for you to adjust yes so the next thing i'm going to do is just duplicate this text drag down onto the sworn and give it shop so if we look at the designs right now i think we're almost having the same design so the next thing we're going to do is this login design this login that's here we're going to recreate it login and then look at the characteristics vadana font 36 in font size we're going to go to canva and instead of bringing in new text new text i will just duplicate this one that we have here drag it up here and edit the text to login ensuring that the size is the same, which is 36. So we have that here. The next thing I'm going to do is having this cat here that we have. We're going to bring this in. So what we'll do is just go to uh, under elements, search for cat. Okay, so we look at the cat that looks almost exactly like the one we are using here. And I think we already have something like that. This one looks like it. Oh, if there is any. So we'll just go with this card here and adjust the size. First, change the font color to white because that is the color for our cards. And then adjust the size. I think we are almost there. We're having exactly what we intend to have okay guys the next thing we're going to do is add all the side elements that we have here so let's start with the last one which is the facebook icon ensuring that you are searching for this icon on elements so we have the facebook icon that we have there is circle so this is the actual one that we have but because it's actually for a pro version, we'll just opt for this free one for now. So what you want to do is ensure that you are adjusting the size and take note of the width and the height of 
this particular icon that you're adjusting so you want all your icons to have exactly the same size so right now we have a width of 128 and a height of 128 that's a square so just keep adjusting so we have facebook and you can notice that the colors are not the same so we're going to be using this particular color click on it and look at the fill so this is a color we're going to be doing the same thing so i copied that color code exactly so the ne next icon is instagram so we search we do the same thing for all the icons so picking the next icon which is instagram ensure that you change the color to the actual color on the design adjust it to fit okay we'll be using the same color code the next one is an email email icon so changing the color so the next icon is the review icon and hopefully we're going to get a review icon on cover that looks like that and if we don't we are going to use the one we have so we can get the review icon on canva so you just go to flightcon.com there you get different icons that you can edit you can just log in or register if you're just coming here for the first time or you already have an account there so what you just do is go to um you can search for the icon you want we want a review icon so you get different review icons the ones that are premium on the ones that you need so you can get for free so obviously there are different ones here we can just opt for a very simple one for now pick this particular review icon this one and then i'm going to edit it because i want the color to suit what we want so let's assume okay yeah we already have a color code mm, let's do that again so the color code is this i will just copy this color code and go back to my icon and then easily paste the color here exactly so now i can just download it yeah making sure that i'm using png and download so yeah i have it downloaded i can just navigate back here and upload it here so it's easy for me to use here we have our review icon and the next one after the review icon is a love icon a love icon and a profile icon that's all we have left to add this works and the last one guys is that actually is the profile icon so i can just write profile so we can actually get the one we want but you can see they are all having this premium so we have to have a pro account before we can use this so what i'll do is i'll just go to flaticon again and search for profile now so yes i can see different ones that i can select from here so let's see the one that looks very much like what we have here okay okay i think this works fine and then we can easily edit and change the color too so now download here we have it so yes we have that right now and i think um the only thing that is left for us to add to this is if we're looking at this right here i think all we have left in are these two um shapes yeah these two shapes and i'm not very sure we can see shapes like this on canva but we can use something really close to that 
let's just claim this one. <laughs> Pick up to the same thing. The color, let's ensure that we're using the same color. And there's one other thing I noticed that the color is not as bright as this. I think there is an opacity, 60%, 16, and then there is another one, the second shape. So guys, I think we are done with the design. We actually have recreated the same thing. So what we're going to do is just try and download this design and then place them beside each other and see if we actually got something really good out of this. So. Let's download. Okay, guys, so we have the two designs ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them side by side. Okay, guys, these are the two designs. The one we actually created using Canva and the one we created using XD. You can see that Canva can do a lot of other things apart from what people are known to use it for. You just have to get the right element. Use, make sure that you have everything that you need to actually create your design. Just think it and recreate it. That's how it works. I hope you guys can now create your own UI designs using Canva. Now you say that you can do way more than creating flyers and creating social media posts on Canva. So if you really like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave in the comment section the kind of tutorials that you want me to do next. So thank you very much guys. See you in my next video. Bye.